What are some tips and tricks for arguing with idiots? Take time to make sure you are not the idiot. Edit. Thanks so much for the golden narwhal. Don't. I was going to say don't, but clearly that's been covered. Then I read the last guy say just say okay to everything, and watch them self-destruct. You might actually get a little further along with this method, if you implement Socratic method and just ask them questions. The point is not to get to a gotcha moment from you, but come from a place of genuine curiosity otherwise they may get defensive, if they feel they're being manipulated. Either they will wind themselves up, until they figure out they really don't know what they're talking about, or you will have a better understanding of where they're coming from. Ask another idiot to argue with them. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, and presume that you genuinely want to engage the other person, rather than just win the argument or feel superior. First, and most important thing, don't call them an idiot. No one has ever changed their mind, because someone called them stupid. Quite the opposite, calling someone stupid will make them become defensive, react emotionally rather than intellectually, and reject everything you are saying as a self-defense mechanism. Calling your opponent an idiot is great for making yourself feel better, but it's terrible for getting anyone else to listen to you. No one changes their mind, because someone said they were stupid, they just convince themselves that that person is an asshole. Along those lines, attack the idea, not the person. You disagree, your aren't enemies. Discuss your problems with their belief, but try to separate it from the person themselves as much as possible. This allows the other person to distance themselves from their belief and think about what you are saying without feeling defensive. Anytime you discuss your belief, or you think that, or say anything that links your argument with them personally, or attack the person directly, you're reinforcing the idea that their belief is part of their personal identity, which, for them, means that they need to defend the belief in order to defend themselves. Allow your opponent to separate the belief from themselves, as this gives them room to consider whether the belief is wrong without feeling like to do so would mean to admit that they are personally flawed. And third, listen to the other person. Don't just wait to talk, actually listen. Respond to what they are saying to show that you are listening, and ask questions without getting angry or combative. Debates turn into arguments, as soon as one person starts to become heated, because that just makes the other person become heated, and it snowballs, until you're both yelling at each other. Once that happens, you're both going to react emotionally rather than intellectually, and either one of you will be receptive to the other. Overall, stay level-headed, de-escalate emotions, be respectful, and let the ideas do the work. Expect to constantly have to steer them back to the crux of the argument, be prepared to refute any spurious sources, and to back up your own facts with genuine sources. Pick your battles, because there will be many occasions where you will be told we will just have to agree to differ and that's just your opinion. Don't always expect that the idiot will understand your logic. Think of it like playing chess with a pigeon. Chances are, the pigeon will knock over all the pieces, shit on the board, and then fly back to its flock to claim victory. Pee on them to assert your dominance. It's kinda unpopular, but be as polite and as calm as you can. Intelligent people can sometimes act like idiots when arguing with idiots. This applies to the internet as well. Presumably the only reason you're arguing with an idiot is because you love them. Instead of arguing, try to find common ground on something and agree not to discuss the subject further. No reason to disturb the relationship about something like an argument. If the person you're arguing with is in a position of power over you, and the argument concerns things like punishment, try to carefully lay out why you believe the punishment does not align with the action performed. Tread very lightly here, because a slip up could very well result in more punishment. Furthermore, ensure that the subject you're discussing is something that is in fact open or logical to discuss. Try to see it from the other person's point of view, because they obviously believe that what they're doing is right for a reason. Complex imagination is a gift. Use it to your advantage in this case. Overall, idiots gone are idiot. There's nothing you can do to solve that. But make sure that you're not an idiot back. That's something you can control.
Presumably the only reason you're arguing with an idiot is because you love them. UHH. You can't fix stupid. Walk away. Don't argue with an idiot, they will drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. Don't speak as much as the opponent. This means don't interrupt them in the middle of a sentence, no matter how ludicrous they are. Then, rather than providing counter arguments, ask them open-ended questions such as, what do you mean by that, and, can you clarify that for me, please? Then, after they have expended all of their ideas, you simply stay quiet. Don't sneer or ridicule, but just let the moment hang in the air, like fog over wetlands. The point is to let them say everything they want slash need to say. Then you systematically provide counter arguments with factual evidence. Anytime they try to interrupt, you can always say, excuse me, I gave you time to speak, I would appreciate it, if you could do the same. They may not like it, but they cannot deny, that you did indeed give them space to express themselves, and so will probably afford you the same basic courtesy you showed them. You will probably not change their mind, but at least you got them to listen, or at least quiet for long enough to present all the reasons, why they are wrong. Try the following to keep things civil. Do not attack them personally, keep the argument to the topic, and nothing else. If they personally attack you, simply state the conversation is over, and walk away. Do not counter their bullshit with more bullshit. Neither of you will get anything but angry at each other. Stick to the facts. Do not yell slash accuse slash interrupt slash anything that you would not like done to you. Civility goes a long long way towards keeping a discussion from degenerating into an argument. Argument here meaning a verbal altercation, as opposed to its historical definition. Don't call them an idiot. They may be silly and ignorant, but the moment you give these labels is the moment the conversation closes and emotions ramp up. Nobody thinks rationally when they are angry, so avoid pushing those buttons. Stand your ground, but don't be adversarial. The point of the discussion is to debate the points, not create an enemy. Be prepared to admit you are wrong. Your opponent may have a perspective that has never occurred to you. Try to agree where you can, and then respectfully explain why you don't agree on other points. Do not let them steamroll you. If all of the above fails, and they are needling you for no reason, but to get an emotional response from you, simply walk away. You don't need to take their shit. I hope this helps. Humor them, know the subject very 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 well, and ask genuine questions. Take an interest in them. Let go of your grandiose right and wrong bullshit for just a single moment, and see the human life in front of you, with all its failings, successes, and potential. The mind can only be changed one specific point at a time, and that point can only be successfully prevailed upon, when the receiver is receiving instead of defending, the giver is giving instead of attacking. In other words, don't argue with an idiot, because arguing is for fucking idiots. Also, you'll change a million more hearts and minds by example than you will by any other tack. Source, I'm an idiot, I get argued with a lot, you smart people really have no idea what you're dealing with. If you get emotionally invested, you're going to look and feel like every bit the idiot that I am. Hash never argue with a fool, onlookers may not be able to tell the difference. Mark Twain. Remember that they are a person too. There's a reason that they believe what they believe, even if it's ignorant. Don't view idiots as people that you need to put down see them as people who need to be helped or taught. Point out logical fallacies in the most polite way that you can. If you're rude or mean, they're less likely to listen to you, and will be more defensive. The general rule of thumb when debating with anyone is, that they're more likely to listen to you, if you can at least try to understand, and be gentle with them. If you can't convince them, just drop it, or come back to once enough time has passed. If they ever manage, to climb out of the hole they dug, they'll look back and thank you. It's not really good, but something fun to do when arguing with someone who's determined to debate you on a topic you'd really rather not discuss with their crusty, misanthropic ass, is seeing how dumb you can convince them you are. It's trolling, pure and simple, but it's really funny, and not nearly as taxing as trying to convince them that the globe industry isn't a mass conspiracy. You don't argue with them, 
I had a coworker that I liked very much, but he was constantly listening to talk radio and spouting Fox News bullshit. The thing was, he was smart and had a good amount of integrity. He genuinely cared about people. So, I didn't argue with him, and I didn't contradict him, but the truth is, what he was hearing and repeating didn't bear scrutiny. If you analyze what Limbaugh or Hannity say, it simply doesn't make sense. So I would listen. Then I, I would clarify what he'd said, so he knew I wasn't dismissing him at all. Then I would be quiet and take the time to think through what he said and mail down all the fallacies. I'd find one fallacy that I knew he'd probably see or recognize and ask him one or two questions about it. Usually, he'd start to answer and just stop as it became clear that it really didn't make sense. Rough example, illegal immigrants just come here for welfare. They're lazy, are they? It seems like an enormously risky thing to undertake. People in the US won't move to a different state because of the risks. This guy had tried to get his wife's family to move to our state, where the jobs were more plentiful and support would be closer, but they always balked at moving. Too hard. Too risky. Easier to just stay and complain. So, an hour later or so I'd bring up that subject. He'd finally accuse them of just being lazy for staying put. Then I'd say something like, but, like, illegal immigrants are moving to America, and that's a lot riskier than your wife's family moving here. Why would they do that if they're lazy? Not in a challenging way, but just posing the question. It took a year or more of this sort of stuff, driving the wedge of his own life experience between him and talk radio. Letting him start to see how stupid he was sounding, without pointing it out. He wasn't stupid. He wasn't an idiot. He just wanted to belong to a team. He wanted to demonstrate loyalty to that team. I just did what I could to help him see what that team was actually all about. At some point, he realized that all his team was doing was enslaving him with his own anger. He'd already had a heart attack in his life, why was he letting these people blow up his blood pressure with lies? BTW, the tactic of enslaving people through outrage, is not just a right wing tactic. All sorts of groups use this formula for power. Sometimes it works, but only if you care about them, and only if you stop seeing them as an idiot. You can't change idiots. Mainly because you think they are idiots. Just keep asking them questions. Make them realize they can't even explain themselves. There's only one real way to make an idiot change their mind, and that's for them to change it themselves. Knowing that, you must ask a lot of questions. Do not accept surface answers. If you're calm enough and can pull it off, fake sincerity and curiosity. Bolster the idea that you're willing to accept that they are right. Remember that they will desperately pivot to anything that you do wrong. You have to feed their ego while sucking the life out of them. Continue to ask for clarification or for practical examples until their ideas self implode. Ultimately, you have to remember that there will rarely be a good outcome. They will fight till the death to maintain their ideas of self superiority that their judgments afford them. They take no joy in humility. They don't take challenges well. And they may see your willingness to learn as a white flag, after which they may pack up their shit and go home. So to speak, at the end of the day, you will lose. Only work as hard as you are willing to help them. Beliefs form your value system, and your values form your opinions. Try to find out if you disagree about something fundamental belief level, or just an opinion on an issue, value or opinion level. Two people might disagree about motorcycle helmet laws, but they both might fundamentally agree that people should wear motorcycle helmets. But if you fundamentally disagree, you're likely wasting time arguing about the opinion part of it. For example, when I feel an argument coming on, I tell the person look, I believe that the Bible is the word of God, and I base all my decisions on that. So if you don't believe that, it will be a waste of time to argue. Don't let them change the subject until you're ready. A lot of times people won't acknowledge they were wrong and change the subject. But what about? Nothing gets resolved that way. Listen to their position 
find something you can agree with, or state that you understand, and use Socratic questioning to have them provide a reason why they are wrong. Also try to include personally relevant information. Facts can be thrown in, but they need to be gently folded in. Example. They poor people are taking welfare, and they lie and take advantage. I'm sick of lazy people getting paid my tax money. You yes, I really think the government could do better with how they use tax money. Personal connection. Have you ever met someone who received government assistance? What was their situation? Oh, it sounds like they were really in a bind. Facts. I wonder how many people receive welfare? I wonder how much they get? Have you ever lived on that much money a month? Just tell them you won't enter into a battle of wits with an unarmed person. Have your balls hanging out while maintaining strict eye contact. If you try to have a stupid argument with a stupid person, they will beat you with experience. If you are arguing about petty stuff slash facts, just always say yes. Option 1. You were right all along, and they'll eventually find out, and they'll feel like an idiot. Option 2. You were wrong, and you admitted that before they could rub it in your face. Use terms like false equivalency or ad hominem. Ad nauseum slash post mortem. And generally Latin slash other languages. Don't. Just say okay with literally every comment they throw at you. Watch them self destruct. If it's an unavoidable argument I like to idiot back. Just crazy random shit that doesn't apply any more than what they're saying does. Then I try to look triumphant at the end of every response. It's worked as often as logic has, and it's a lot more fun. I really enjoy doing this when people are making dumb arguments, and I'm feeling puckish. For whatever reason, no one remembers urban legends anymore. So if you can counter their stupid argument by presenting a stupid urban legend with a straight face, it's mad fun. Idiot. Mexico is just dangerous and dirty. Me. I hear ya. My cousin's friend went on a cruise there once, and she saw this little dog drowning in the ocean. She saved it, cleaned it up, and brought it home. But here's the thing, when she took it to the vet, it turns out the dog was a rat. Stay out ta Mexico, man, even the rats try to trick you. If they're a narcissist just ignore them, and they'll see they're not getting the reaction they want and they'll explode. They'll realize they look crazy and stfu. Do it in writing, over the course of a week, where you have the opportunity to reference exactly what they said in the past, and provide strong sources to ruin their argument and bolster yours. It will take a lot of time. At the end, either they will agree that their argument is untenable, and change their mind, agree their argument is untenable, but still not change their mind, often citing differences in opinion slash values, or they will give up, which is different, but not change their mind, often looks like they're no longer engaging the conversation. This is assuming it is an argument of fact and you are actually correct. Also, note that differences of values slash opinion are validage. Find a brick wall and smash your head into it repeatedly. Don't argue with idiots. All they will do is drag you down to their level, then they will beat you with their experience. Just don't. It's an uphill battle that neither side wins. Don't. They'll bring you down to their level and beat you with experience. Agree with amusing heavy sarcasm. Don't because they'll drag you to their level and beat you with experience. Just don't. Same result, none of the frustration. Don't listen or be cognizant of anything they say. Don't recognize their words as something you should comprehend and let sink in. Their words should just pass you by like vapor. Don't talk over them, though, that will lead to anger on their side. Don't bring up your opinion, idiots can't stand other opinions. Don't assume they are idiots and try to understand and respect them. They may pick up on that, and you might get through to them. When idiots or people I don't like say really dumb shit I just laugh in their face and they feel really stupid. Are some tips and tricks for arguing with idiots, you don't otherwise you are no less of an idiot yourself. Thanks for watching. Do you have something to share? Leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe for more edit readings. Have a great day.